Basically, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be combining the nightshade with the van, all right? Because I thought this combo was basically gonna be really fast. Because the van already goes kind of fast, plus the nightshade is also fast. All right, so he has the nightshade right here. All right, so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting everything that the nightshade has in the van, okay? To make it go really, really fast. All right, so after I'm gonna do tire, he's gonna put in the fuel. If he does the fuel first, then all the fuel is gonna actually leak out, which is obviously not a good thing. And I didn't actually get like the helicopter this season because it was either a like a lot of Robux or I didn't get like enough dusty coins to complete to get like the helicopter, all right? All right, I'm gonna place this like right here. And there, the car is officially kind of balancing. Car or van, bro, what do you even call it? All right, we're gonna put it right here. And we're gonna, I guess, oh yeah, this goes over here, okay. Um, yeah, he's gonna place that right there. And now we're basically gonna be um putting all of the fuel. Now we will actually have about three gas cans. The nightshade spawns with one, and you have one at spawn. And there's one near the car, okay? I mean, look at that, bro. That already kind of looks sick. It'll look much better once we have, like, everything done. All right, we'll, we'll basically put that in there. And let me just get the radiator real quick. All right, he's putting in all the uh, gas. Put in the radiator. Let me put this at the front. And let me place this uh, near the engine. Okay, this looks kind of good, I guess. Okay, so we have 18 liters. But in fact, we have a other gas can like right here. So I'm gonna put that one in also. Like, trust me, bro. Engine is probably like the most important component. And then it's probably gonna be the, uh, the wheels because like they also matter. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. And we have in total 27 liters, which let me tell you, bro, is kind of insane. We're just having 27 liters, dude. All right, so we have 27 liters. Now let's let's basically just kind of wash down the car a little bit. I don't know what you would call it, like washing it down. I'm asking Tim to wash the car since I don't exactly know. Like it will look much better once like this dust is out. All right, there we go. Okay, it looks much better now. All right, I'll turn on the engine. Oh yeah, no, the drift is kind of insane if I'm gonna be honest. But like this was the van, all right? Plus with the nightshade. Plus the nightshade probably has like a lot of like drift and stuff. But basically look at the speed. It's going kind of fast right now. It's going 140. Oh my god, I've actually, it's nearly about to reach 160. If I speed up too much, my game's gonna lag out, but let me try. Oh my god, it, it broke like the meter. It's going, I think it's going around something 200. And it's going even further. Yo, how fast is that going? That's actually so fast, bro. Oh my god, just. Yo, that, what the hell was that? Like, I'm telling you, bro, this is probably like the best combination like it probably goes around 300 like i think it's about 300 because it's going about really fast now it might actually be 250 all right which is still insane like in 10 seconds we're at 1200 bro not 10 like that's a metaphor by the way like look at that it's going so fast that it basically just breaks the entire thing all right so i'll just kind of unattach like all the wheels real quick all right i'll try to drive a little bit slower next time but i just tested like how fast it can actually go all right all right so we're gonna attach this one around over here and he's gonna try to do that and there we go so i'll try to go a little bit slower this time since i was going pretty fast like look at that bro we're already going 120 it's basically kind of impossible to even like stop this oh that's the shop right here okay we'll stop at the shop like it takes a little bit to make it go slow but like i'm pretty sure if you instantly hit like the handbrake it automatically goes slow like there we go it automatically stopped all right, we have seven liters of gas. Uh, let me see how much gas we drain. So 25 liters. I don't think three liters is that bad because like we're kind of around like the same like kind of um thing, right? Oh, there's a other gas can right here. I think he's doing the infinite fuel glitch. Yo, what the hell? We just got seven liters of gas. Um, yo, let me just run out, bro. I managed to run out, but it looks like my teammate died. All right, I told him to respawn because I'm a little bit further now. That's crazy how I survived that attack right there, though. I don't think it's gonna work because he's basically, like, dead. He might spawn over here, though. It looks like he's dying again. Oh, no, is that just the gunshots that I'm either A, hearing? It looks like my teammate... 
All right, it looks like my teammate has basically died, all right? And uh, basically, there's no way to revive him since he doesn't have a free revive. And I don't have Robux to basically revive him. So the run for him is unfortunately dead. It looks like that is a garage right there. I can still hear the gunshots for some reason. And that's kind of weird if I'm going to be honest. Okay. So it looks like there's like nothing worth it right here. So we're going to keep going. I'm getting a little bit low on hunger. So hopefully we find something to basically feed our hunger. How many mags is he shooting? I can still kind of distinctly hear the shooting noise. Like I was behind the car. I think that's why I survived. Wait, what the hell was that drift? All right, it looks like we're kind of going fast now. Honestly, I think we're gonna quickly get through 5,000. Actually, I don't even know if we're gonna get through 5,000. Because like the moment I press the W key, the car just starts going really fast. I think it's turning nighttime. All right, so we're at 3,000 already. Just look at how fast I'm going. It says I'm going 40, but we know that is definitely not the case. Like, we're probably going way faster than we are. It just doesn't show it because literally we're going faster than the speed of light right now, right? Oh, that's a, that looks like that's a cool um, trailer. I need to find something to eat really quick or I might die of starvation. But my wheels were still moving. How do I even unflip this car? I have to get this out of the way. Is this like causing problems and stuff? I'm trying to get it further away. I still can't get it away, bro. Like, what is with Dusty Trip? To be fair, this is a pretty open world game, but sometimes that causes like a lot of problems. All right, uh, and honestly, I don't blame it too. Like, we're going so fast. Plus, we have 23 liters of gas. This is actually moving like a snail right now, dude. There we go. We got it out finally. And now we can just kind of drag everything here. I think we need to keep this. Like, we need to keep some pressure. Plus, I'm running a little bit low on hunger, so I don't think I'll be able to complete this run. Yeah, no, I won't be able to complete this run because I'm going basically too fast. Plus, I'm low on hunger, and I don't have anything in my backpack right now. Alright, guys, so I kind of tried to get, like, the car unflipped, but it didn't work. Now, I don't actually know what the problem was, but I'm guessing there was, like, too much weight on the car and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's basically where my run kind of ended. But hope y'all enjoy this combo, because it's kind of OP. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, 